Hey guys, Mike from Wrestling Then and Now. Thanks so much for checking out the YouTube channel and for all your support. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. I have so much content coming up. You don't want to miss anything. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It really does help my channel grow. Thanks again. Where did you break in? My first match ever in front of people was... Um... Panthers Arena in Fort Lauderdale, well, in Sunrise, there was 20,000 people. I was uh, I was the first match with or Orlando Jordan. Me and Orlando and Do Jordan were training at Rocky's uh, training training facility here in Miami. That was 1990, no, that's 2000, 2000 to 2001, somewhere around there. I think 2000 and uh yeah the main event was the rock and old Hogan versus big show and i cannot remember who was the other one so can you imagine i was on that show that was your first match ever first ever and when i came out they boo me so i was like yes i'm a heel but the good thing get... about that i trained with orlando for like 10 days so we had that match down so i looked phenomenal you said uh, at Rocky's. Who, who's Rocky? Rocky Rock's dad. Oh, Rocky Johnson. Yeah, that's where oh, I trained. Oh, got it. Okay. And uh, so how did you get the tryout? How did you get hooked up with that match? Tough Enough. I applied for Tough Enough one. I went to audition. They picked me. I met Taz, Al Snow, Kevin Dunn, all those guys. And... They said, you're good. We're going to pick you up for the show. We like your character, blah, blah, blah. But a uh, couple couple of days before the show, they called me. They said, hey, you're Canadian. You're not allowed in the contest because it was a real contest. There was money involved and quarter million dollar. So they told me, but we really like you. So, you know, we keep you posted. I was like, okay, that was a bummer. So I go back to my modeling life. I was a model at the time. And uh, they called me for the second one. Tough enough, too. Okay. It was in Vegas. They said, you're all set. So I packed my bag. I had my flight, everything. The day before I flew out, MTV lawyers call me, and they say, we cannot do this. WWE tried to push you in, and it's a contest. There's money involved, the lottery, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, long story short. So uh, I think it was Johnny Ace or JR. I can't remember who called me. Probably doesn't Johnny Ace and say, oh, you're going to have to do it the real way. I was like, what's the real way? <laughs> right. There was no more WCW uh, training right. center. Yeah. So I was like, well, you're going to have to find a school. So uh, there was a guy in Montreal, Jacques Rougeau, the Monty, everybody remember, the fabulous Rougeau brothers. He had a school, so I went there for a couple of days, but I didn't fit in. So uh, I was looking for uh, Florida, and uh, yeah, I ended up at Rocky Johnson. It was insane. So, so crazy. When you, when you got hooked up with Tough Enough, you never even locked up. You had zero experience. No, but that's what they wanted. I was a model. Got it. Got it. I was actually juggling between 175 pounds to be a model, 180. I have a hard time keeping my weight down. And when I was start, you know, for the for the wrestling, I was like, man, I'm gonna get bigger. I need to get bigger. So I started eating and blah blah blah. But when the first show didn't turn out good, I had to lose the weight again to more modeling job. <laughs> and after that. right, so it was up and down for for probably a couple of months. And I saved money and I went down to uh, Miami. But I didn't know Rocky was Rock's dad. I didn't know when I knocked there, it was a garage door. No air conditioning. You open. It was a WWF ring with the mm -hmm. red, blue, and white uh, ropes. There was a punching bag, a speed bag, small bathroom in the back, an office, couple posters. That was it, man. The rest was outside under the sun in July. It was brutal. Even inside was brutal. Couple of fans, but I was in the ring five, six hours a day, so that was a blessing. 
how was Rocky to you? Oh, great. Thursday, we had uh, Peach Pie watching SmackDown with Atta, Rock's mom. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they took care of me so good, and I didn't have anybody there. My family was all in Montreal and everything. So he, I think he took me as the little project, and uh, I didn't have much money either. So Dwayne used to give me – he used to be sponsored by Nike back then. He used to we we wear the same shoes shoe size and we he was bigger than B but he still wore XL so I, he was giving me all the the clothes nice. that he didn't like so all the 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 light blue and the orange I got it <laughs> nice he keep the nice. black and white for himself <laughs> I got I got a shitty color but <laughs> it was nice <laughs> it was nice. We And uh, I used to train, go to Portal Tropical with Dwayne. We go to LA Fitness or Bally's, and it was cool. I was lucky. You... That's how I ended up referee that match. Oh wow! I was gonna ask you about that. Uh, but when you when you walk into your tryout, what's it like? I mean, it's literally like you're going. It's like Dorothy. You're going from black and white, and you open up that locker room, and it's all in color. What was that like? Your first time in the locker room as an unknown. Yeah, but the good thing is I've done a lot of movies, so I I I was on set with a lot of actors and stuff, so I, I was never a star star struck. Only Olgan did that to me. And before I went to have that match, Olgan came to the the school to rock to talk about Mania. And Rocky before that say. Hey, Go pick up my friend at the opera. It's like, okay, who's your friend? Oh, Terry. Go pick him up. So I went. <laughs> Fucking Hulk Hogan with his son at the time was like three feet tall with a skateboard. Nick picked them up. Hey, what's up? I was like, holy shit. I used to watch him. I used to go to the forum in Montreal and he was my hero. And now he's right there and I'm driving him and we're going to chit chat. I'm like, fuck. I was, I was fucking. Probably like uh, if you see the most beautiful girl in the world and you're like, that's how mm -hmm. I felt. Sure. But uh, yeah, so that's how I ended up. I was there when they were practicing. And this is where the Vince idea and the, my name came up in the story because I, I was available to practice and blah, blah, blah. And they want to keep it kayfabe for the screw job after that. In Montreal, so uh, yeah, that was a good gig. So, man, the idea they had with that project, I was supposed to work with Ogan and pin him. Can you imagine your first match? You roll him one, two, three, you're healed for the rest of your life. You're made for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so okay, so, so you, you ref the No Way Out match, correct? It was No Way Out. Yes, no way out. I trained as a referee. I think I went on the road for two, three weeks. The only one who did smart up was Kyoto. And Kyoto tell the other referee, we need to train him for special angle. But they didn't know what it was. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And I was a bigger guy than those referees. Right. So they're like, fuck, he's too big to be a referee. But, so Mike showed me how to bend over, blah, blah, blah. What do you think? So. If you're a casual wrestling fans and you don't really pay attention, you don't see the difference between me or another one for the No Way Out match until the chair thing. Right. So it was a great experience. I couldn't believe how involved was the ref into a match, how hard and stressing uh, position it was. But uh, it was fun. It was great knowledge, great knowledge. And I use after. Because I knew that side of the, I didn't, I wasn't a ref for 20 years, but with Mike Kyoto and all those guys who let me out really much, I was, I was with the best. So it was very fun and it was a great angle I, in my hometown. At the end of the match, you have me, Vince, and uh, The Rock raising him. It was phenomenal.